it is your lucky day because <laughs> I have Styles to the Stars beside me. Mr. Tony Masciano. Hello, how are how you? How are you doing? I'm good, yourself? I'm fine. Now, I'm so excited. We have this beautiful model, Renee. Mm -hmm. What are you going to be doing to her? Um, we kind of wanted to mix the world of music and fashion together. So um, she has naturally curly hair. We're going to set it on bobby pins, which you can see most has been done. I just wanted to show you a few um, there. It's not a new technique. It's not, it's not nothing that your viewers don't already know how to do. It's just the application of it seems to be more um, current. Um, I've used this texture in shoots for flair this year. Um, right, that's all. Gorgeous. And, um, you know, and frizz is not something that we would shoot before. You would never see curly hair in magazines. You right. would never see black girls in magazines. And you mm -hmm. certainly would never see frizz in a magazine. Right. You just have to brush it out. All Make right. sure there's no tangles in there, no snags. And then go ahead and use a little bit of hairspray on piece by piece. Right. Weave it in. Spray it again. And it doesn't really matter if the sections are, you know, not perfect. Okay. It's, you're just trying to create the texture more on the mid shaft to the end. Right. And actually if the root's a little bit looser, mm -hmm. it's actually better because that way it moves more and you have more flexibility mm -hmm. in the finish. Now I'm assuming that you're using a light um, hold? Hair yes, hair? I'm using right. Nexus Comb Through, um, right. which is actually a very soft, soft nice. spray, which is great because it doesn't flake when you brush it out. Okay. Cameras don't lie. You, know, <laughs> you see all those little flakes, you see it all, so you really have to kind of keep it minimal. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Like, just be an artist and live your life and do your work in a bit of a bubble. And that's how a lot of painters work. Okay. And um, so do what you do and don't worry about anybody else. And then that way you actually focus on building your own style and your own trademark. You would start in the area that you set first. So right. it should be in the nape area. Okay. So that hair has been well set. Mm. This once it's brushed out, mm -hmm. you'll still have that length, but you still have that really beautiful gorgeous. kind of frizziness to it. Here we go. Very gorgeous. Now I heard that you did your first makeover at seven. Or are you running after a piece of the playground with a, with a, a brush? I cut, What's going on? I cut this kid's hair. And I'll never forget it. The understanding of the history of fashion. A lot of the young kids don't, like I, I gave a, um, a talk at a, at a university in their photo, uh, photography, um, graduating photography class, yeah. and they didn't know who Man Ray was. And I'm thinking, how could you not know who Man Ray was? First of all, one of the most prolific photographers of our time, and he created solarization. And I'm thinking, yeah. it's really important for you to know, know that, your history, to know your history. And, uh, you know, art books, make sure that you pick up lots of art books and any opportunity you have to go to a gallery and spend time there and learn. Um, you know, they used to paint because we didn't have cameras. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a reason why Europeans have that reputation. And it's because they learned about life through art. Yeah. And there we go. That is amazing. Moxie Brown. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Where are you today, Miss Renee? There we go. All done. Awesome. What did we do? We brushed it out, okay. used a little bit of spray, right. used um, U-pins to um, wrap the hair, and probably like one inch little sections. Okay. Um, do it whatever pattern you want to do it in, and then with a flat iron, heat it all up. Right. You can use this texture to build other shapes, or you can use this texture. What are your beauty must-haves that you have to have on set? Um, What's in your kit? <laughs> Nexus comb through because it okay. is again super soft and, 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 and pliable and I can get it at the drugstore if I want. Okay. Um, uh, a Mason Pearson brush right. is an absolute must. Um, a really, my thing is lashes. I like big lashes. Oh. So a really kind of thick, goopy kind of mascara. Okay. Um, an impeccable foundation. Yeah. When you've got a good foundation, a good mascara. The biggest thing I could stress to a young stylist is please, please, please save your money. Ooh. Put 10%, put 20% of that away. Just, it's not yours to be had. Just mm -hmm. put it away. Mm -hmm. And by the time you're 35 or 40, you'll be able to buy a house. You'll be able, God forbid, you got sick. How would you take care of yourself? You also have to understand that there's a real life behind all of this and you need to be able to live it. So my biggest advice to a young person is please save your money.